What is up bros? So I recently went back on Fiverr, which is a site you're probably familiar with by now. And well, I decided to search up Rainbow Six Siege to see if anything has changed since the last visit. Well, I came across this player who at his highest season was ranked top 50 in the game on R6 tab and has since transitioned to coaching an actual team in the UK. Well, I ended up hiring this guy for an hour and the twist is that I'm gonna be playing on a Silver 4 account and we're gonna be going undercover yet again to see what exactly someone can get from the highest rated Siege coach on Fiverr that boasts a perfect rating of five stars across 48 reviews. I created a new Discord to go along with the Smurf account just in case he recognized me and once we got in and added each other, we were getting right into it. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. What we can do today, then, uh, just before we get started, uh, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions just to see where we are. Okay. So, what would you say is your like overall playtime with Siege, you know? Like, what is your overall experience with FPS games on PC in general? Um, so, I got a PC about two years ago. I've been right. playing for three or four seasons now. I'm currently a Silver 4 right now. Um, the only FPS games I've played on PC are PUBG and Siege. All right, sounds good. What would you say is the areas we can look at the most in terms of improving? Maybe a little bit of aim, getting spawn killed, maybe a little bit of map knowledge. I, I feel like I know the maps decent enough at least, but maybe a little bit of map knowledge. Yeah, we'll definitely go through. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go through a whole bunch of things, including that. Okay. As well, uh, put it on the list. So, what's your play style? What's your favorite operators? Um, I like Doc. Doc is my my main go-to guy for defense. Zofia, Twitch. Yeah, okay. Do you play with a lot of people, or do you play no, with other people? No, I only have I only have like one or two in real life friends that play. So. Yeah, I'll definitely send you a few uh, discords over. There's a couple, you know, looking for group channels. So, how often do you play Siege then? Maybe like around ten hours a week, maybe. All right, 10 hours a week, it's not bad in terms of uh, trying to keep up on top of things because obviously, you know, the game's always evolving in terms of uh, meta and uh, seasons and, you know, content coming out. What we can do today then to get started is if we jump into a T-Hunt, what I'm going to do is I'll kill myself, I'll watch you just to get an idea of how, you know, you approach things in terms of your movement, crosshair placement, how you take gunfights, aim, that sort of stuff, all right? Okay, yeah, that'd be awesome. You pretty much get diamond every season. Yeah, the highest I achieved was like 30th global. Dang, that's insane. Can you put the T-Hunt on disarm bomb only, please? Okay. Basically, so the way it works is uh, 20 enemies will spawn at the start, and then once you kill them, you have the map to yourself until you plant the diffuser, and then 20 more spawn in. So it helps us uh, just walk through a few things. Right, oh, sh I need to kill myself. Oh. Yeah, you take the lead. This is cool. So like with each of your coaching sessions, you really have like a, a full like layout plan of how you approach it, huh? That's really cool. Yeah, I have a syllabus and stuff. Pretty light. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh man. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself while I'm doing this. Uh, you know, this is this is what we're here for in terms of uh, ironing out any issues. So, you know, just play like you'd always do, man. You're quite confident for a silver four. Uh, I'm pretty confident when I play terrorist on it. Uh, the yeah. harder difficulties, harder difficulties I tend to. I I, I feel like I got kind of lucky with this bomb site. I mean, they kind of set it up for me too. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know. Good behind you. Oh wow, that was lucky. guy is reinforcing. Let's see, I can't reheal my health on this game mode, huh? Uh, can't do it on any game mode. Unless you get a dock. Or a finker. Oh yeah, I guess I probably should have told you too. I, yeah. played on, I played on Xbox since the game came out. Oh, okay, that explains it. I thought I, thought I was, um, I thought I was going to be in a YouTube video of like, some guy who's really good at the game going undercover for a second. <laughs> I was like, hmm. You play unnaturally. Yeah, yeah uh, you play. I was gonna say you play unnaturally confident for a silver four. Oh. 
been. So, uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, you play fantastically confident for a silver four and your aim is pretty spot on. So, uh, I'm not really too worried about that. If we just uh, vote for retry real quick. Okay. And uh, we jump back into it. So, yeah, you kill yourself and uh, watch me just to get an idea of, um, you know, what I'm doing in terms of approaching uh, gunfights and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that'd be awesome. And your ping is Better. through the roof too. I'm still doing it. Uh, missing shots. Five bullets. Seventeen. These poor terrorists. So uh, what you'll see me do a lot is um. <clears throat> Let's reload here. You'll see me do a lot of this. Oh. Okay, like kind of peek out. This is just to help uh, build muscle memory and uh, flicking memory. So okay. that it uh, feels a lot more natural. Uh, just flick random things like, you know, uh, staircases where heads are going to be, you know, in an actual game. Okay. Um, you know, windows, doorways, random geometry like corners, stuff like that. Just to get uh, your muscle memory uh, okay. in check. I don't really play a lot of terror signs. Is that something you recommend I do like more of and practice like these flicks and stuff? Yeah, basically because the only really way to play the game without playing a live game is to play to hunt and okay. a lot of times uh, players before they'll play ranked or things like that they will just jump into t-hunt throw on music and then just play a couple games of this just to get their aim into gear essentially so and also remember you know if you've got any questions or anything then just feel free when i watch bolo play he doesn't use like the the hud settings for like downs and stuff is that something you'd recommend the reason why he does that is because he plays competitive. In competitive, you will not have points on. By playing with points off in rank, you get a better understanding or a better feel for when you've downed someone, for example. Okay. So that's why you'll see a lot of pro players play with points off. So Is that something you why... recommend like in ranked for is it less distractions? I'd only really recommend it if you're gonna play competitive or you're okay. gonna like, you know, venture into ESL or Go Fours or Com Cups and that type of stuff. Okay. Uh, if you're not going to do that, then there's no real point because points are an innate advantage because if you're on mute, for example, and you signal to drop something, or like a drone or something, you won't know that you've capped or you've stopped the drone because you won't see the points. But if you have the points on, then you'll see signal disruption plus 10 and you go, oh, mm. I've stopped the drone somewhere. I'll go kill it. You know, smart. smart. Whereas you know, if you don't have that, then you can't. Okay. <laughs> Dang, dude, you're going off. Oh. Awesome. So yeah, uh, what you see me do there is because even though I wasn't hitting perfect shots uh, by a long stretch, um, I was using, I was always using movement to make sure that I wasn't getting shot from more than one angle at a time. That's that that comes with map knowledge, to be honest. Like knowing what angles are safe from what other angles. If you can put yourself in a position where you can, um, you're the one that controls the gunfight. So, for example, you're the one that controls when you peek. You're going to be innately sort of in a more advantageous position because, you know, you can be more ready for when you actually want to start the gunfight. Uh, so that's why, um, on average, people who are above uh, someone when they're having a gunfight uh, will win on average because they can control when the gunfight happens and the person below cook like can't. So you, would you like to look at a few um, angles in terms of map knowledge on Cafe? Yeah, for sure. I'm down. So just um, you can look at this angle from White Stairs. So this window that we jumped out just then is the most important window for taking top floor uh, because it basically controls the whole of White Corridor. So if okay. you can control that, you're pretty good. You can see straight through into train. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. So yeah, uh, getting familiar with all the vertical play into kitchen is necessary. Uh, kitchen is a nightmare to hold on defense. Uh, you okay. cannot sit anywhere in the site and not be safe. Um, be safe. What if I'm somebody like like Ash and you can only open up a couple? Which ones would you do? This one. Okay. Uh, and the reason I'll show you the reason why. Just stay there. Because yeah, it's because it has a perfect angle onto plates. Uh, okay, yeah, it. I see that, huh? Like, wow. Yeah, if you've got this angle, you know. Dang. Okay. 
they can reinforce it, but it doesn't matter because you can see through the top. Like, usually, uh, if they are downstairs, the bomb will be here on ping. And then you can sit on the other side of the bomb. But okay. you can, I know for a fact, you can get an angle onto, like, it's a super tight angle, but you can get an angle on it. I like dock a lot. If I anchor, I should play somewhere on the bomb back here, maybe. Okay. Yeah, if you sit here and if, if they open this, then you're, you're fucked, essentially. Okay. You can get a nasty angle on uh, behind counter from, I'll show you. But you can do this. Um, yeah, come to me. Oh, that is it. smart. Like, that door gets blown open. And you've got no idea I'm here, and I just quick peek, you know. You know, uh, you got to be careful about the car angle though, because if they have people in like uh, piano, or if they really want to be sweaty about it, they can run out from white over there on ping. Hmm. So yeah, it's all about you know. Even though you can see an angle, you're exposed in some way. That's that's everything in siege. You can launch a C4 up through that hatch, and it will land perfectly on the piano, so that if you get the call, anyone repels into piano. Oh. You can I mean, yeah. Annihilate them. Something. That's smart. Yeah. Like a lot of the times in a high tier or high ranked uh, setup, you'll see uh, this is blown out so that they can't plant behind here safely, uh, where I am, and then they can't plant behind the desk safely because it's blown out as well. That's a cool um, face mask. Oh, yeah. Slide. This is the. Uh, yeah. I just got this because I'm The whole uniform look. is cool. When you're repelling up cafe as well, you probably always want to repel it upside down so that if anyone runs out, you can shoot them. Oh, uh, okay. That's smart. Yeah, I have been ran out quite a few times on this. You can get an angle all the way down onto uh, Red Hallway. Dang. See, I'm kind of... Yeah. Oh, oh, I almost fell in and died. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, actually, uh, what sense are you running right now, man? Uh, let me check. I'm running 10-10... 84. What DPI? Uh, 400. Uh, did you get that sense from a video or something? I think it was a bolo setting. If I hold my mouse um, all the way on the left and I drag it all the way to the right, it's almost exactly a 360. What's your uh, graphic settings at then? How many frames you get? Right now, standing still, I'm getting 170. Ah, that's fine. So what, what's your graphic settings then? Do you play like high or low or what? So overall quality, I have it on ultra. What graphics card you have? Uh, GTX 1080 Ti. In terms of graphics, we always want to basically make the game look as competitive as possible and give us an advantage Okay. Uh, as much as it can do. So I'm just going to read you off my sentence because uh, I'm running a 1080 as well. So, so and then uh, I'm just going to say the name of the value. Uh, low, linear, low, low, medium, low, off, 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 off. Before you do go, I do want to tell you something. So, sure. I actually am a YouTuber. I fucking knew it. I was going to use a voice changer and stuff to make it, but... What YouTuber? Coconut Bra. I knew it, 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 I knew it. Bro, like honestly, from everything that I've seen on Fiverr, you are easily one of the best coaches that I've at least seen on Fiverr so far. Even just the That's fact fun. that you have like curriculum and you go through everything, like bro. Even down to the graphic settings, the T-Hunt, the spectating, that was awesome. I can't even, I mean, this is like, I, I, I knew something was up for it that way. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I didn't. From the first couple of seconds, I was like, this guy is, you know, Dragon Slayer, basic name. I was like, nah, something's not right. I thought this guy plays way too confident for a silver four. <laughs> I was gonna try to fake it a little bit, but I was like, no, nah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play it and see what he got. I mean, honestly, like, when I finish with a couple people client-wise, like, oh, do you watch any YouTubers? Like, you know, and then someone will say, like, Coconut Brown, like, yeah, he's really good, you know. I've learned some angles from him that I've given to people, so. That yeah. is awesome. I appreciate that. I kinda, well, yeah, I mean, that was really good. <laughs> I like that you went through the process of, like, spectating to see if you can pick something out that maybe they're not aware of, you know? Yeah, usually what I'd say is if they were really struggling with, you know, if they were playing too fast for the aim in terms of movement, you know, slow it down a bit more. If they're, you know, whiffing too many shots, I'd discuss the sense and if the sense is a bit too high, I'd uh, say, you know, OK, let's uh, change it up a bit. Maybe, uh, you know, mirror me in terms of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. to get a better idea if they've got no frame of reference to improve from. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch, man. If you ever want to play or anything, I'm down. I know the pings might be an issue, but yeah, it was really nice meeting you and good luck with your scrims. See you in pro league in a little bit. <laughs>
Hopefully, you know, it's open. Yeah, bro, it's possible. This is a bit of a change up for me. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize this is how my day would turn out. Making an order off coconut, bro. Hopefully it was alright with you. Yeah, absolutely, man. But uh, I've really got a spectator scrims that man, so Okay. Yep, sounds good. But I feel really rude, but yeah. Nope, you're not not rude at all. Been awesome. Life happens, man dude. Alright, I'll all talk right. to you soon as well. Nice meeting you. Thanks, bro. Alright, yep, have a good thank one. You. Bye bye. Bye bye.